Um, this is a gorgeous machine. This is a Zonophone Grand Opera made by the Universal Talking Machine Company. That company's history is a bit interesting and I mentioned it mentioned it in a number of videos, so I'm not gonna go over it again. But their products, as I've said before, are in, are really good. I love the finishes on them. I love the way their cabinets are decorated. It's really a beautiful machine. This one was also available with a back bracket. But as you're gonna see when I um, bring the camera around, it's got a glass panel on the back so that you can see the motor. And that's kind of a neat feature that they took off when they put the back bracket on it. So this was made probably about 1902, 1903. It's a single spring motor, but it's powerful enough to play exactly the type of records it needs to play. Um, I should mention this company was ended up being bought out by Victor after some years of legal wrangling, and the company itself disappeared in 1912. Through the later years for this company, they didn't build machines as nice as this. They were sort of relegated to the cheaper type of machines by Victor. But this is in its heyday for Zonophone. So let's come in and take a look at a, a Grand Opera Zonophone. You can see it has this massive, beautiful brass horn. So it has a very long tone arm and a longer support arm. And look at the carving in that. It's just beautiful. And then we come here and we see the reproducer, which is the one you commonly see on Zonophones. And unlike the Berliner gramophone of the same period, um, this one has a metal elbow attached to the horn, which is a smarter way of doing it. And it also has the pin that you'll see on Zonophones because their records had a little indentation to uh, hold the record from slipping while you were playing it. And you sometimes see Berliner records with uh, a hole drilled in it to accommodate that pin. You can get a peek here at the bed plate. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna take the turntable off and show it completely in a minute. So we'll get back to that. There's the crank, but look at the finish on this. Just beautiful. Wait till you see the decal on the other side. But that is a gorgeous, oak cabinet just amazing okay let me rotate it around and we'll take a look at the back and the other side let's start with the back you can see the glass panel and you can get a peek at the motor the lights aren't really good here so it's hard to see but you can also see the beautiful way this cabinet is built and the quality of the finish and we go over to here, check this out. Oh my God, is that the coolest decal ever? They really put a lot of thought into this machine. So let's take the turntable off and take a look at the top. Okay, let me take off the turntable. And you can see. Wow, amazing. All that hidden under the turntable. If I rotate this around, 